Two more prison inmates have pleaded guilty for their roles in one of the deadliest prison riots in state history. Back in 2018, seven inmates were killed at Lee Correctional in Bishopville. Today, more of the people prosecutors say were responsible face justice. Walker Lawson has the story. Three years after what officials have called the worst U.S. prison riot in 25 years, several of those involved appeared in court pleading guilty to their role. Brian Sterling is the South Carolina Department of Corrections director. Um, we're here today to hold people accountable for this, the actions that night. In April of 2018, seven inmates were killed and 22 were injured at Lee Correctional Institution, a maximum security prison in Bishopville. Prosecutors say the deaths came during fights that broke out between rival gangs. This past summer, five inmates pleaded guilty. Wednesday, two more did. Four originally were supposed to admit guilty, but in the end, just two appeared before the judge. One of those inmates was Tory Blackwell. Because he is aware of the larger charge that he was charged with, um, Mr. Jose is right. He did not have a weapon. He did not hit anybody. And as a matter of fact, you can't see him in the video near the individuals that are stabbing this person 90 whatever times. Um, but you do see him on the video 20 to 30 minutes before and um, leading up to there uh, in the middle of the, of the riot. He was charged with 10 years for inciting prisoners to a riot and five years for criminal conspiracy. They will run concurrently. Jody Gary also pled guilty. Mr. Gary was an F3. Um, he at some point uh, conspired with his other blood gang members to assault uh, different people. Gary has been out of prison and has been on house arrest for three years. Prosecutors asked for his house arrest to count towards his sentence for the charges he pleaded to Wednesday. The judge agreed okaying that sentence for his charges of criminal conspiracy and assault and battery by mob second degree, meaning he'll just serve probation. Um, and he's been out for three years. He's got a job. He's productive. And, and you know, as uh, Solicitor Gazay said, a, a success story to, to an extent. You know, he hasn't come back and hasn't been rearrested on anything. A trial is scheduled for December 4th for another inmate who prosecutors say played a larger role in the riot and many more have yet to be prosecuted. Walker Lawson, News 19, WLTX.